Hello! Okay, listen, we are making a jumbo lump crab meat with lemon butter little sauce. I've only got a few minutes. I got my steaks out on the grill. I got things to do. All right, I got some butter, a couple of tablespoons of butter melted in a little pan on medium low. Let's see, I'm going to add, where's my lemon? Lemon. Okay, I'm gonna add a little lemon juice. I'm just gonna hold my hand over the top to catch the seeds. Really easy. All right, lemon juice. One lemon, happy little lemon. All right. Let's see, let's add a little garlic. Where's my little, whoop, whoop, whoop. there you are. Got some garlic going. Uh, okay, I don't want to burn the garlic, so I'm gonna pull it off the heat while I open my wine. Something you should always have in your refrigerator <laughs> is a bottle ready to go. I do. It's something I always have. You know, like when people ask you, like, what do you always have in your refrigerator? Uh, Prosecco? Okay. About to grab some things. My hands are a little wet. Let's see. Professional here. Bam. <laughs> All right. So, back on the heat. Poor little wine. Prosecco, little bubbles. I'm not making a lot here. Um, just enough for, yeah, to, to drizzle on top of the steaks for the boys or for me on my redfish. I make my own hot sauce, but of course. <laughs> so you can use any kind of hot sauce you want. If you want to use mine, <laughs> you got to talk me into that. Okay, a little hot sauce. I'm going to add some slap your mama. This is a Cajun spice. You can use that Tony Satchery's. You can use... You know, whatever. Uh, cage of spice. All right, let's mix you up. Yeah, baby. Mix, mix, mix. I'm gonna add. You can um, any kind of cream that you like. I I do the coconut milk cream. I like that. I can. I think it's healthier for for me to stay off of the um, yeah, the the those dairy products. But you know. Use what you use, right? Mm-hmm. All right. All I need to do now is add the cream and add my jumbo lump crab. And um, that's it. Beautiful. And then I'm, I've got some green onion from my garden. Thank you for growing every day. And I've just sliced it up, and that'll be on top. Wow. Keep watching. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to add some cream. A couple spoonfuls of that. Stir it around. Look how fast that came together. Really, really nice. Simple, simple, simple. Good stuff. Yeah, don't mix too much stuff in your, you know, your, your, your recipes. Just keep it simple. And um, let the ingredients all speak for themselves. Don't, when you're, okay, so I'm putting this jumbo lump crab in. Watch me, I'm not going to over stir it um, too much because I don't want everything to break up into a little bitty, like, you know, disintegrating pieces. I want to try to keep it nice and big. So I'm just gonna kind of stir it very carefully. Yeah, I don't want my I don't want to break up my jumbo limp crab. I want it nice and big. That's it. That's what I want. I'm gonna leave that alone. Guys, look at look, I could put a little look, a little salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. God, that's beautiful. Tell me, that's not gonna be good on top of um, that big old ribeye and that redfish. Love you guys.